What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Doing another subscriber requested course here in the Backyard Simulator. For today's video, we are playing um, either the Legacy or the Legacy Golf Club. Um, this is in Norwalk, Iowa, courtesy of the subscriber by the name of Zach, Zacko HRT. Or Zach, I don't know, it's Zach. But either way, Zach said, um, Great course that one of the guys from Good Good came and played a few years back, just south of Des Moines, Iowa. This course, from the tips, plays about 7,100 yards. It has lots of challenging features that makes it one of the best in the Midwest for public golf, plus it's my home course. So shout out to you, Zach. Looking forward to giving this a go. Um, we are playing the furthest back tees, which are the Blacks. And real quick for the rundown, um, Garmin Approach R10 behind me on a DIY level stand. Um, Country Club Elite Mat, Callaway Super Fast Balls, DIY Stance Mat, 10x7 Nets, and Home to Here you're seeing within the Garmin Golf app. So, um, again, shout out to Zach for the request. We're going to give this a go. I'm assuming it's a full 18, um, playing from the furthest back. Um, I like the, uh, the little bit of background information Zach gave us there, being uh, the good, good background information and the fact that it's his home course. So, hopefully we put up a halfway decent score. Um, a couple days ago, I think I tweaked my right peck just a little bit doing the buff bogey series so i'm just going to do two um and i re-aggravated again a few days ago um when i was working out again so i'm just going to do two subscriber requested courses here you guys will see in this one and then the next one will be another subscriber requested course um in addition to that i came out um just a few days ago because i was feeling a little bit sore still with my chest um i think it was two days ago i came out i had about 45 minutes to uh spare and i came out and just figured i'd hit some balls quick on the range listen to some music and it ended up being one of, if not my best, um, like practice round, just hitting balls back here. I was flushing absolutely everything and fixed a little bit of my alignment issue, just moving. I feel like with driver and some of the other um, clubs, I get it too far towards the forward and forward of the mat and my feet kind of um, are almost on the edge of this. So all I did was I moved it back a little bit. And one of the feelings that I had um, wasn't really even intentional. I wasn't trying to do it. I really just came out and plopped the R10 down and just was gonna go through my bag and hit some balls, but it seemed like I was flushing everything and turning everything over. Um, and the feeling, I actually, I put two and two together. I saw a video um, a few weeks back of a guy explaining the release of the club. Um, if any of you guys have played tennis out there, um, the feeling of basically putting top spin on the ball. So obviously with a forehand, your right hand for you right-handed players, um, kind of coming over the top and rotating that forearm to put top spin on the ball. Same thing with the left arm. If you're doing a backhand, putting the top spin on the ball and kind of coming over the top. Um, I know that's generally not a good thing for golf with the swing, but um, just the feeling of, like I said, I don't want the R10 to register, but um, hopefully you guys can see this, but just the feeling of if you guys can picture that, if you've ever played tennis or you can feel it, just putting the um, top spin on the ball to make a kind of nose dive. That's the feeling that I had um, I put two and two together afterwards, but it felt like just for whatever reason I was making really good contact and then I kind of uh, had that swing thought which is sticking in my head. So we're going to try to keep that going. Who knows? Maybe I was just hitting it really good that day um, and I could play terrible today, but um, was turning everything over and for me, I was hitting everything dead straight like five yards or less either way, which for me, that's about as good as it gets. So really promising there was hitting the ball really good. We'll see if we can build on that, but that's the only real thing. I mean, still want to work on my tempo, slower controlled takeaway, keeping the club face more square on the takeaway, a little more width and bigger, deeper turn. And then instead of that, more of the, I guess I had for a while that um, feeling of throwing the club behind me, which you still want to do, but I feel like just that um, mind muscle connection, maybe just for whatever reason you hear something explained one way or the other. And just that the feeling of putting a uh, top spin on the ball with tennis um, kind of clicked in my head. So. We're going to try that and see if we uh, still make some, some good swings, but um, cooler today. It was supposed to be sunny in 75. Not exactly sunny, but it is 75, so um, nice cool day. We had like 15 hours of rain yesterday, so um, still a little bit moist out here. Hopefully we don't get too many misreads, but um, we're going to give it a go. So first hole, we've got a par 4, 361 yards. We're going to aim up that right side. Get the old rubber tee out here. First driver swing of the day should be interesting. I figured I would do this one first because I have another subscriber requested course um, that is supposed to be 
um, according to what the person said, more link style and easier style course. So this one probably pretty challenging, 7,100 yards from the tips. Um, again, we're playing the black tees and the fact that good, good played there and it's one of the higher rated courses in the Midwest, according to Zach. Um, figured I'd do this first, get the more challenging course out of the way and then hopefully when I'm a little bit more fatigued and tired, um, still put up a halfway decent score on the somewhat easier one. But first driver swing, just looking to get off to a halfway decent start. High on the face, it's gonna be up the right. Let's see if it comes back a little bit. Not the best contact in the world, but it should be just fine. Definitely had that feeling of, sometimes it feels like that was gonna, that would nosedive, which it probably did a little bit, but just that feeling of releasing the club. And again, that the feeling of hitting a tennis ball with topspin um, seems to be working out pretty good. I was, like I said, flushing the ball the other day, was seeing closer to 10 yards more on a lot of my clubs and I was bombing driver. I went through my entire bag and was hitting everything really, really well. I was getting upwards of like 140, 145 of my pitching wedge, which if you guys follow my stock yardages back here, usually that's only about 130, 135 clubs. So I was hitting everything really, really good, but we'll see. That could all go down the tubes real quick. Second hole, or second shot rather. First hole still, second shot, 101 um, up one. So 102 going choke down 48 feel good about a 100 yard shot if I can make decent contact. A little bit thin. It's going to fade a little bit, or at least it should. We'll see. Sit. Came out pretty straight though. All right. Pretty good shot. Not the best contact in the world, but depending on what I go with today. That'll do pig, shout out Graylam, or uh, we'll take it. So, birdie to start off, can't be too mad about that. Second hole, par four, we've got 429, 248 there, down 12. All right, so don't think we can hit driver. Maybe over there, 294, is that still short of it? I guess, but if I pull, if I, Block one out to the right, we could ke definitely catch that water over there. I mean, down 14 yards too, so that's playing what? 90, that's 280 right there. If I push it right, 280, I'm in trouble. Well, I guess that's 309 over there, down 20. Yeah, still 280, it's in trouble. Um, what the heck, we'll go for it. We've got a lot of room left. I'll just aim out here, just this left corner of the fairway. I mean, 305 down 15, we're not going to hit a 305, but as long as I can keep it relatively straight and even a little bit left or just if I push one a little bit right, not super far right, we should uh, be dry. I think too, um, following up what I was saying about when I was hitting it really well, some days you just, you come out and either here or on course, you just for whatever reason striking the ball really well and I think I was... I was thinking um, similar to the buff bogey series that I do with the snowball effect kind of spiraling down. It kind of, it's a compound effect of more push-ups, worse swings, more push-ups, worse swings, and then vice versa. I was thinking when you come out and you're hitting really well, you, you just come out and you flush a fir first couple, and then you just kind of start building up confidence after that. So it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy of you come out, you start hitting balls well, and then I think you just keep hitting balls better and better because you have that confidence built up versus if you come out and shank a couple you're kind of behind the eight ball and you're, you're struggling to figure, figure things out a bit, but second shot. Well, it's definitely going to be left. It'll be dry. Hopefully it'll let us play from over there. That was duck hooky low and left, but at least we didn't slice it made the hole longer that way but we can play from there trying to still be a little bit better about course management but that was just debating not hitting driver there still got away with it so all right second shot 200 on the dot down three but we're in the rough so 
we got 197 plus 20 puts us at 217 and and like I was saying I was seeing good distances I hit this five iron a couple times I was just striking it well I hit this five iron um, it was most of the time it was around 230 and I got a couple that a couple days ago when I was hitting it well got a couple 240 245 out of this five iron which is pretty crazy um, problem is this is kind of in between six iron I'm not gonna get most likely unless I really smash one not gonna get that much distance out of it um, I would still probably be able to cover that but five's probably better so just looking for a good smooth swing with a five and bare minimum just get over the water and have a wedge shot but generally speaking probably a better idea to club up just a bit All right, low on the face, we'll see. Hopefully that gets over the water. Go, 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 go. All right. That was a, uh, that's gonna be a plus three. I was worried about, I knew that one was gonna have the distance to cover, but it was just if it got up in the air high enough to get over that, but bogey, not the best there, but back to even. I got some, instead of Gatorade packets today, I got some uh, sweet tea packets in the water bottle, so we're doing that instead. Third hole, par four, 389, dog leg right, 284 right there, pretty big open landing spot, so we're going to go right about there. very low on the face it'll be fine but not great there <laughs> 227 swing still feels all right that was just a miss hit so I'm not gonna get too high or too low on some of these swings obviously 227 not very good with the driver but that was horrendously low on the face so um, still didn't mind the swing it was just contact all right, 175 left, up five. So 180, again, kind of in between. Usually I play the eight iron to about 170, 175. Seven irons, closer to 190, 195. So it's closer to an eight. And if I can strike one good, we'll get it there. So we're gonna go eight and see what happens. Popped it up. Go. And when I really got into it the other day and I had confidence I was striking it well, the feeling again, I put two and two together with the tennis. I know you're probably tired of hearing that, but the feeling I felt like I was almost just kind of slinging it out to the right and then having it come back with that, the top spin closure of the club, basically the feeling of, like I said, slinging it out to the right and um, having the ball basically come back to the left. Tried to do that there, but I popped it up, but can't expect to have a good day and be able to do that every single time after that, but all right, 22 yards, up one, and we're in the rough. So 23 plus another two, we need like 25. I'm gonna go 56. I think I said it last time. No matter what day I come out here, I barely ever hear airplanes. And I come out here, and it seems like almost every time there's airplanes flying over. So my apologies for that noise, but. All right, 25 yards, 56. It's gonna be a yard or two left. I may be on the longer side too. I could have been closer to 30 or not. I hit it pretty easy, but came off a little bit hotter than I would have liked. 
Maybe that's exactly what happened. Maybe a slight misreading. Another bogey. All right. Let's see if we can get that back. I think that puts us to one over. We started off with a bird and then two bogues. Yeah, one over through three. All right. Fourth hole, par four, 417. Go right up there. See if I can actually find something that resembles the middle of the club face. Well, it was close to the middle of the club face, but that's very hooky up the left side. Also not very good, but better than 227 or whatever the other one was. I think I have been, like I mentioned, I've been, I moved the ball back and I was hitting it really well because I'm on course as of lately, maybe the past like two, three months or so, I've been playing the ball just a little bit more towards the center of my stance. And although I'm not able to hit up on it quite as much, um, I've been hitting it a lot straighter. So that's probably part of the reason why I'm hitting just down a little bit more than I should and I'm kind of pulling it. If I can either keep the ball where it is and maybe tilt my shoulders just a bit more and hit it more on the upswing, launch the ball a little bit higher compared to those, they're kind of low hooky ones to the left. But we'll see if I can straighten that out over these next few holes here across this round. Um, 175 up four and then 10%. So. Puts us at 179 plus another, we'll call it 17, 18. Um, 179, 189. I need about 195, 200. Um, there's a bunker in front, another in between number. I think we'll, we'll go smooth six instead of the seven. I could probably muscle up the seven and swing a little bit harder and get it there, especially if I flush one, but haven't exactly hit one great yet, so probably better to take a little more club swing a little bit easier. Usually play this six iron to about 205, and we'll see here. A little bit heavy. I should draw though, and be pretty straight. Could work out just fine. That was a better strike. Again, 168, but you gotta add the 18 yards, whatever on that, so that was what, 178? Still a little bit short, because I hit it heavy, but we'll take the par. That was like 180 something. All right, plus the slope too, but. Fifth hole, par three, 213 down nine, so this should be an actual good full six iron distance. And even if I'm not striking it particularly great, like I'm like, I mean, so far I had a pretty abbreviated warm up. Um, so far I'm not super happy with how I've been striking the ball, but at least, I mean, I had that couple that were, I popped up to the right, but like if that miss, like I did with that six iron last time, if my miss is just a little bit overcooking left and I can still slowly but surely get the ball to draw like 75% of the time, I'd be pretty happy with that, with the, uh, the old tennis analogy. Cold face was open on that. I popped that up. That's going to be short, right? <sighs> Not going to do myself any favors if I leave the club face open like that, despite the swing. The swing could be great, but if the club face is open like that, it's going to more than likely end up short, right? Still got 197 out of it, though. So let's see if we can save par. 22 down one. Um, so we got 21. I'm gonna try the 60. Maybe closer to 25. Sit, sit, sit. Yep. 
basically the shot I was looking for, just put a little bit too much on it. It's going to be another bogey, I think. We're going to get off this bogey train here. Sixth hole, par five. Score's getting away from us here. Started off good, but now we're, we're two over. All right. Dog leg right, pretty long hole, 502. Right there should be decent. Probably similar to you guys. I haven't hit a, even remotely close to a good drive just yet. If I can get a couple good ones going, get some positive momentum going, for me, how I'm playing that day, how I'm scoring, and how I'm hitting my other shots has a lot to do with my tee shots. But Hung back on it, low on the face, up the right. It's gonna run in the fairway, but if I can just launch the ball a little bit higher on some of those, I'd get an extra like 20 yards out of it. 262 on another miss hit though, into the rough. Could be worse, I suppose. All right, so to the pin, we've got 247, up three, and we're in the rough. So, This green is slanted a good amount from right to left. So 247, 250, plus another 25. So we need like 275. I'm going to go three hybrid. And very unlikely we get 275. But if I can get 250, 260, give us a little bit of a wedge in. Pulled it left, but I hit that pretty hard. It was low and left, but that's gonna be up there somewhere. Rough's gonna kill it, but. The 222, that was like 240, 250 on the miss hit. 35, up four, and we're in the rough. So 39 plus another, we'll call it four. So 43 ish. I'm going to go 52. Caught it a little bit heavy, pulled it a little bit left. We'll be on the green, but we'll see. Yeah. I think that should be a par though. Not a great wedge shot. Maybe I should have played this course second. Had some higher hopes. Like I said, anything could happen. <laughs> Not exactly striking the ball great, but considering I feel like I am haven't really hit one particularly that good yet, um, and still to be two over, we're kind of managing our way through. I don't know. Slowly but surely progressing, I guess. Seventh hole, par three, 167, down four. So 163. Um, we're going to try the 9. It's closer to a 9 than an 8, so. Let's see if we can get a little tennis top hand. Or tennis top spin. Kind of uh, sling going here. A little bit heavy, a little bit high launch, but... That should be front side of the green, at least. All right, front middle-ish, but I mean, we got 160 out of it. Plus or minus the slope or whatever, but decently struck nine. Take the par, that'll do. Eighth hole, par four. 460 dog leg left by the looks of it slightly all right let's hit a good drive shall we All 
sorry, up the right, cut face was open, but that was hit a lot harder. Still a little launch on it, but it's a little bit better. Two seventy one. One nine eight left, up eight. Going six, pretty close to a stock six. So we've got what? 206. That was hit pretty good. That might be long. It was dead straight too. Turn over a little bit left. Uh, it's coming back right. Sit, 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 sit. Yeah, I hit that, hit that really good. That's the problem sometimes with these clubs. You uh, catch it in that speed pocket with these game improvement ones. Obviously they're not forged either, which you get hot spots, but um, that's a little bit, I mean, it's a good miss. I hit it really good. We came up, what, 15 yards long, but um, that's a little bit of a problem with these cast um, game improvement clubs. They're not quite as consistent with the strikes across the face as like a higher end forged player's iron type club. So sometimes you get, I was watching a video this morning. Um, they were just talking about less forgiving clubs. Why would anyone want to play less forgiving clubs? But that's a good reason there. One, you got spin. Two, you have um, the workability aspect of a like forged player's iron. And, and three, the uh, that hot spot with the the cast basically from my understand or my understanding is um the forge clubs are a solid piece of like metal that they carve out so it's all solid with no bubbles versus these cast the cheaper kind of game improvement irons they pour the the metal into a mold and you get um little air bubbles that create those kind of hot spots if you catch one like that and it kind of jumps off the face and you get sometimes you can hit a club 190 and sometimes it'll go you know 205 or for example like that one like 15 yards long but it is what it is, we're just off the green. Um, 15 yards down one, and we're in the rough. Doesn't look like we're in the rough, but I guess we are. So 14 plus another 1.5, we're gonna go 60. Let me know out there if you guys play forged or cast clubs, or if you don't even know, if you probably couldn't tell the difference anyways. But my next, I think my next set, I'm gonna spend the money and um, either P770s or P790s, I believe. They're, I think those are like, two-part construction so I think the face themselves are forged and then the back I think they it's a different different type of material um, and I think those might be cast just to save weight and save price versus having a fully forged club but um, at least the faces will be forged and should eliminate some of those hot spot clubs like that or hot spot shots rather Should be decent, maybe just a tad long left. Looks like we're gonna do it again. Has another, ooh, that's a big, that thing's low too. That's a big like army, or I guess air force plane. That thing was flying low. All right, take two. Pop that one up a tad more. Still could be pretty good though. I think the other one was probably a tad long. That one's still a little bit long, but we're inside the inner circle, luckily. Par. It does feel good though. I know the hot spots when you're trying to control spin, you're trying to control distance, hit greens. Um, obviously that's not great for scoring, but it does feel really good when you smash a club and it goes 10 to 20 yards longer than what you usually what you usually uh, expect out of it and it just feels like the ball rockets off the club it is a good feeling but the results not the best and the problem is you try to obviously your stock yardage tries to be as close to your true average of what you hit almost every single time but you get ones like that you can play it a little bit longer but then more times than not you'll come up short on everything so all right, two over through eight, nine pole, par four, four, five, eight, down 13 yards here too, so 14 there. If we can actually launch one in the air with the driver, we could see if 
I hit one, 275, you get about 290. Maybe wishful thinking, but. A little bit better, still low and left though. Did hit it relatively hard, we'll see. Could be 280 ish. 288. Still didn't even really score that one up great, which is promising considering 288 miss hit. Granted, we were, got 14 extra yards out of it, but still. All right, 175 up one. So 176, gonna go eight iron. came across it. That's the bad miss right there. Spinny, it's gonna be short right. Pretty poor contact and swing on that one. That was more of the swing than the club face. Club face was relatively closed on that too, but I just came across it. I rushed that too. Gotta to slow down my tempo. All right, 19 yards, going back to the 60. See if we can get inner circle here, save par. Straight up and over the net, but it should be, uh, all right, it's gonna go. I was gonna say that should be pretty good. Ooh, right next to the pin. Tad long, but good shot there. I think we saved par. I'll have to get that ball after. Usually my wedges are the ones giving me issues. Today the ball striking has been good despite having some confidence from the last range session I had, but ball striking and drivers not been great, but the wedges have been kind of saving me, which is a little bit odd, but two over through nine, onto the back nine, 10th hole, par five, five, six, one, down 10 yards. All right. Let's see if I can actually hit one about 275, 280, we'll get 290 again. New ball, maybe it was the ball's fault. Maybe my driver just didn't get along with that ball. Maybe this one, I'll rip it down the middle. Hit harder, but low and left. Not terrible, but Definitely not going to be 290, 270 if we're lucky, and 259. Okay, 319 left, and we got water, and we're in the rough, so basically going to add 32 yards to the shot, whatever I'm trying to do here. Can we get over this? What do we need here? Yeah, no shot. So we got a layup. Cause right, if I tried to go here, that's, well, no, nah, I still can't do it. That's 253 right there. And that's barely getting it over. 243 with the slope, but then you need an extra 32 yards on that. So you need like 270 to get over that. So not smart. <coughs> oh. Oh. Bug just flew in the back of my throat. Oh. Oh. All right. We're gonna lay up. So, 192 down eight puts us at 184 plus 32. So, I'm just gonna go six iron, hit like a 200, even if I hit one hot like I did before, 215, still should keep us short of that. You'll probably hit the five, but the five, if I hit one good, might bring that water into play. So, six iron.
club face was open. Should be fine though. A little bit further right than we would like from where we were aimed, but relatively decent course management. Not the best swing in the world, but gives us 132 left. We're in the fairway. Um, 132 down one, so 131 going pitch and wedge. Popped it up and pulled it a little bit left. I may need to get down. Sit, sit, sit. All right. Probably a good thing we actually popped that one up a little bit. Cause that was on the longer side considering I pulled that, but 135 on a pulled pop up. That's what I was saying. When I hit it, I was hitting them a lot better the other day. I was getting 140, 145 when I was starting a little bit right and it was drawing back basically dead straight. 11th hole, par five, two over, five, two, four. Go right down the pipe because we kind of got a two-way miss going right now, but hopefully I can launch one and clear that, launch one, something that resembles up in the air and clear that little stream in front, but. That was low and left. That could be water. It might nosedive right into it. Go! All right, we cleared it. <sighs> Getting frustrating with this driver, 246. I think I'm almost overcompensating. It seems like for the most part, they've been low and left, which means I'm doing too much of that tennis top spin. I gotta strain things out a little bit more, not go quite as aggressive with closing the club face because they're just nose diving left. Has another plane. At least they don't circle around, they kind of go, come and go, but they looked like the same plane or the same type of plane. All right, we got some work to do. 282 and we're in the rough. So, we're gonna go there, and right there we got 236 up two, plus basically another 30. So I'm gonna go three hybrid. I usually hit the four better, but just for the sake of that extra 10, 15 yards, if we can get it. Club face twisted when I hit that. It was like that when I hit it. That's so bad. Rough punished us more. That would have gone, I mean, it wouldn't have gone that much further. It would have probably gone an extra 50, 100 yards rolled out, but <laughs> that was not good. That's why I hit the four. <sighs> All right. Still got work to do. 181 up two puts us at 183 plus another 18. Puts us at 193, just over 200. We're going six iron, see if we can stick this green and make up for that horrendously hit three hybrid. A little bit heavy, pulled it left. We'll see if it catches the left side of the green. Go. Bounce up. Man, an extra yard we would have got it there. All right. We're gonna put this inside the inner circle, say par, 13 yards. Straight up. Going 60. Gotta admit, I was talking up that swing thought that I had. Still feels decent, I'm just not striking it well. I probably had some higher expectations than were probably deserved after one single day of hitting it good. But 
hopefully I can, like I said, build on it. That's going to be a little bit too much, but it'll be on the green. Land soft. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah. Going to be a bogey. At least we're not doing push-ups. Who knows, maybe the second round after this one, I'll start striping it again. Just tough, like I mentioned, confidence-wise with the driver. I haven't hit a good drive yet across, what are we on? The 12th hole? Haven't hit a good drive yet. Get two or three of those in a row, maybe that trickles down to some better swings across my bag. This one, though, we're down 16 yards, so this would be a good confidence booster. If I can hit something like an actual like 275 yard shot, plus we get the extra 16 yards on it, if the ball will stay on the tee. I was hit harder, but still low and left. Guess I gotta take the good with the bad. I don't know. At least I'm not slicing them, but. Is that a penalty? Wow, it was too. And we have tree trouble. Realistically, I should just play out sideways, but I'm going to try to blast through these trees. So we got 206, up 13, plus another 20. I'm just going to blast my 5 iron through it. A little bit right, but I hit it good. Definitely caught those trees, but I struck that. I'm not going to get rewarded for it. If anything, I got punished, but I hit that five iron decent. That would have faded. That would have been probably 10, 20 yards right, but that was at least solid contact. Felt and sounded good. All right. 75. This is going to be a scorecard killer. 75 up five plus another seven and a half, so... 87 and a half kind of an in-between number again I'm gonna try the 52 a little bit heavy a little bit left we'll see go Plus two. Wow, we just got it there. Still going to be an ugly score. That's unfortunate. All right. We're going to try to get at least one or two of those back with some birds. 13th hole, par four. This one looks pretty straightforward. Oh, the looks like everything's slanting pretty, pretty good from left to right. I've got to figure out this driver. Playing it, I think, a little bit. I'm overcompensating. Playing a little bit too far towards the middle of my stance, and I'm shutting the club face a little bit too much. Still low. Hit hard. Going to be up the left. Not quite as bad, though. It's at least a little bit in the right direction. That was low on the face towards the heel, but... All right, 78, halfway decent drive, I suppose, up the left side. Still, though, those are nosedive, nosedive drives to the left. 78 down three, so 75 on the dot. 
We're going 52. Let's see if I can work on this distance control shot. I used to love this distance, but. 75. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I hit that, and I just have no idea if that's going to be 10 yards short or long. All right. Not horrendous. That was a little bit heavy. Felt and sounded a little bit weird. Pulled it a little bit left, but we got it to work. That's the problem, like I was saying, with my confidence with these. Granted, these are really cheap wedges, and I don't love how they're bent. But, like, something like that, I literally just had no idea. That could have been... 85 or it could have been 65 which your scoring clubs can't really have that oh boy this talk about a scorecard killer here we need to hit a good one so 14th hole par 3 we're 5 over not the easiest course in the world but I'm not exactly playing great 189 down 7 so 182 oh boy we got water short and it's an in between number Guess I'm gonna go seven. So again, eight. Eight irons about 170, 175, 180. If I really hit a good, that'll still be a tad short. Nine irons closer to 185, 190. If I hit a good, 195, 200. So I'd rather be 15 yards long off the back than penalty stroke into the water. So seven iron, it is. Rushed it, came across it. That's a pop up to the right. Might get lucky though, it's coming back. All right. I hit it relatively hard, but I rushed the transition, came across it. That was spinny to the right, but we still got some decent distance out of it, luckily. So, for that style of hole with all that water, par is not too bad. Not doing ourselves any favors though, trying to whittle this back down towards even. Plus five and only a couple holes left. Up 10 yards. All right, 15th hole par four, 337. Play this one a little bit more towards the front of my, my front foot. Launch it a little bit higher, but that's not hit great. It's up the left. We'll be fine if it lands in the fairway and runs out. That was actually still not hit very good, but that was actually one of the better ones, which is sad. Because we were up, what, 10 yards or whatever I said, and we still got, that was hit halfway decent at least. 79 up to 81, going 52. Should be on the green, caught it a little bit heavy again. It's gonna need to go just a tad, I think. Yeah, front side, but no bloodshed with another par. Sixteenth hole par four, we got water. Down 17, 253. Down 20 there. All right. Well, let's see. No shot. I hit it that far, but that's where the water is, so we should still be short of that, despite having the 23 yards extra distance. Basically, I would need to hit it 300 flat to put it in the water, which isn't going to happen, so. More so, we're looking for something down the middle then bombing it right now.
still low in the face left. That could be trees. <sighs> Not great. That was only what 250. All right, 200 left, up seven, and we need another 20. So, 227, going five iron. A little bit heavy, a little bit low. Dead straight, though. I guess a lot heavy. Twenty one up one, going sixty degree. I'm definitely I'm not writing this round off, but not exactly where I was hoping to be at this point. Hopefully, next course a little bit easier. Put up a good score. Feel good. Hold that left. Feel good about ending the day on a good score if I can actually hit driver halfway decent. Plus one. Par. All right, two holes left. 17th hole, par three. We got water all along the right side. 210 down one. So. Another in-between number. Sometimes that's part of it too. Sometimes you just get unlucky with how the holes are laid out with in-between yardages, which this is. I gotta somewhat muscle up this six iron. Struck it good, but I popped it up to the right. That could be water. Go, get a bounce left, left. 206 for a pop-up spinny shot. I knew I struck it decent, but offline. All right, got to scramble. 18 yards up one and we're in the rough. So 19, basically plus another two. Looking at about 21. Let's see if the 60 can save us again. That's going to be long left. I mean, it'll be on the green, but it's not going to be in a circle. Wow, landed soft. That was generous. That realistically probably should have been further left outside the circle, and that felt longer too. Possibly a slight mystery to our benefit there, but. All right, we made it, folks. Well, sorry, Zach. Fortunately, I mean, plus five, it's not terrible, obviously, but um, haven't really felt like I've hit anything that particularly great, so. You'll have to request another one, and maybe I'll play better on the next next course. Kind of light it up a little bit. I don't think I've I haven't hit one good drive. I don't think. Like I haven't hit made made one good made one driver swing yet that I like hit it and was like, all right, that was hit well. There's been obviously some that have been manageable. I've gotten some distance on some, but for the most part, I've been missing them low and left. But we're going to open up my stance. Open up the club face a little bit, and I'm going to give this one a little bit of a rip. Still low, but that was probably the best hit one yet. Should be about 275 down the middle. I didn't check the slope, but... 279. Maybe I just need to swing harder. I was I was I read an article and it was a short video. It was um, my golf spy. I think it is. They do a bunch of testing, and they did a pretty in-depth testing with amateur players on basically like the consensus. You hear a lot of people say, just you know, swing easy. Don't try to kill it with your driver. You know, swing at 80%. And they found that um, you're actually better off swinging out of your shoes um, 
you go because you gain the extra distance and generally speaking you're not that much further offline um, obviously you're gonna have some really good ones and really bad ones but when they average everything out um, I think they did like 80% 90 to 100 percent and then like 110 percent like swinging out of your shoes and that one actually performed the best out of all of them so that one kind of made me think of it when I gave that one a little bit of a ride maybe I should just grip it and rip it every single time this one we have a decision to make so no shot I'm hitting anything 290 unless I tee it up again and I'm probably not even doing that so we got to lay up short of this right there 194 down one I'm gonna go seven A little bit heavy. Should be a draw though. Should be just fine. All right. Final shot, hopefully. 149 up three. So 152. Should be a good, smooth nine iron swing here. Don't need to kill it, but still going to strike it well. Heavy again, but I drew it. And we just got it to work out. All right, a couple parts to finish it off. So, from, I believe Zach called it the Legacy, but within here, um, Legacy Golf Club in Norwalk, Iowa, courtesy of Zach O H R T. I'll just call you Zach. Shout out to you for the request. Um, we ended up with a five over 77. So kept it under 80, 37 on the front, 40 on the back, 12th hole, hurt the scorecard. Um, only one birdie to start it off. The rest were uh, pars, bogeys, and that one double, but it is what it is. Somehow we hit seven out of 14 fairways, so at least that's 50%, and then same thing, greens regulation, nine out of 18, 50%. 31 putts, that's actually not too bad. Um, right in between one and a half, two putts a hole, but it is what it is. Hopefully, I'm gonna reset things here. At least I don't have to do any push-ups. Gonna try to shake things off a little bit, maybe go do a couple laps around the house or something, clear my head a little bit, and hopefully strike the ball just a little bit better on the, the next subscriber requested course that I have, and then I'm calling it a day after that. But um, again, shout out to Zach, anyone else out there that you made it through. I appreciate you watching, appreciate all the support you guys show the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment, even a one word comment, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't done that. And um, anyone else similar to what Zach was saying with some background, his home course, if you guys want to see me play a course of your choosing. Um, whether it's a course that Good Goods played, whether it's a, a course you used to play back in the day, your home course, like Zach said, um, whatever the case may be, just give me the name of the course and the location down in the comments. I'll respond to you. I'll check in within home tee here or here that I can, in fact, play it and it's available. Very, very, very high likelihood that it is if you request a course. So um, just let me know down in the comments and I'll uh, get back to you guys. But that's what I have. Um, not the best golf in the world, but it is what it is. So hopefully we can... Uh, get some better swings going, make some better contact on the next one. Last drive was the best one, so that's at least promising. Hopefully I can hit driver better on the next round, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys the next course.